This is definitely a back to basics technique video because I want to show you how to tell the difference between knit and purl stitches and how to count stitches in your knitting or what is also called reading your knitting. Let's go ahead and take a look. Take a look at my giant sample of knitting. This is knit on size 35 or 19 millimeter needles with roving. And this is what most people use for um, needle felting or for actually spinning into yarn. But this was the way that I was able to get the biggest stitches possible to point this out to you. Now this is stockinette stitch. This has worked with knitting a row, purling a row, and it gives us this flat fabric that's made up of all of these V's. When you look at these, each one of these V's is one stitch. If you are seeing upside down V's, all you have to do is switch your gaze half a stitch over and you'll start to see the column of V's. Now when you're counting these um, going uh, up and down, the columns of stitches, stitches in a column, you just count each one of the V's going up. The bottom one's going to be a cast on row in the case because I used a long tail cast on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then I'm going to count the loop on the needle as well because that is a worked row for nine rows. When you're counting across, just count the V's across. One, two, three, four, five, like that. And that's also how you're going to check gauge is by counting stitches like that. So this is what knit stitches look like. And up on the needle, they still look like V's. The stitch below still looks like a V. To look at the back side of the work, this is where, this is reverse stockinette where all the purl stitches are. It's much easier to count the V's than it is to count purl bumps. But when the difference I want to show you is what a knit stitch looks like on the needle and what a purl stitch looks like on the needle. The knit stitch kind of settles down into this gentle V. You see that? The purl stitch looks like it has a scarf up around its neck. So if a pattern tells you to work in pattern, if you see these bumps like this, these scarves around, scarves around the neck, that's a purl stitch, that's a purl stitch. So you know to purl those two. If you see these gentle sloping V's, that's a knit stitch, so you know to knit these two. And that's it, how to tell a knit stitch from a purl stitch in reading your knitting.